In what looks like an attempt to defuse the tensions before the summit begins, the U.S. State Department has recommended that Cuba be removed from its list of countries that support terrorism. From Washington Now, our correspondent Alexander Hall explains. We're receiving breaking news information this morning. According to national media here in the United States, the State Department has finally concluded its review of Cuba as a state sponsor of terrorism. Uh, that recommendation has been sent to President Obama to remove the Caribbean nation from that list that also includes Iran, Sudan, and Syria. Now, it's important to remember that uh, President Raul Castro of Cuba said at a CELAC meeting in January that he couldn't imagine that uh, diplomatic relations could be reopened as long as Cuba remained on that list. So, of course, this is a serious, the removal of a serious roadblock in the normalization process. And, of course, it came just in time. As we know, President Obama and President Castro will be meeting at the Summit of the Americas uh, this week. And for the first time since uh, normalization of diplomatic relations was announced last December 17th, after decades of diplomatic silence. Uh, we're still waiting for that information to be confirmed by official sources, but it is expected that President Obama will announce that he is accepting the State Department's recommendation as early as today, possibly this afternoon. In Washington, I'm Alexandra Hall for Telesur.